Good morning, Divine Feminine. How are you doing this morning? I hope and pray that you will have an awesome day. Okay, all right, let's rock. Divine Feminine, this is your daily love reading. So we're going to get a leading energy, a supporting energy. We're going to get a challenge, and then we're going to get into the tarot, okay? Please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, all right? Okay, Divine Feminine, let's rock. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the leading energy for my Divine Feminine? What is the leading energy of my Divine Feminine? Please and thank you. Alright. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the leading energy of my Divine Feminine? No, that's way too many, babe. <clears throat> It's a quiet morning. Is it? It's it's a peaceful morning. I mean, it's like the flow of the energy this morning is 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 peaceful. I like that. What's this? Okay, we got a flipper. So we're gonna take the flipper. Woo! We have anxiety, and then we have daughter value, self worth. Some of you divine feminists could be worried about money. Love ain't got shit to do with it. For others, it's your self your self-worth that is um that is an issue here. Okay. All right. And what's at the bottom? The temple path. Yeah, a lot of you divine feminists is dealing with self-worth here. Um, also, too. Door to personal happiness and healing and deceit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our self-worth is an issue this morning. Hmm. It's like, you is you worried about your... I heard, but some of you guys will be worried about money or worried about health. Either the health of yourself or a health of a relationship. Something of the sort. Yes. Um... Very passionate. This is feeling like money over love. I'm just saying. With this temple path, it's like. Some of you guys could be worried about money for your business or money for your purpose. Yeah, yeah, to get on that that, that path of purpose. Yeah, it's have to do with something with money. So, I mean, because this door to value and the anxiety, I mean, that's just obvious. With this temple path, it has to do with money. Um, are you worried about if somebody stole your money? Let's get a let's get a um, supporting energy, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Oh, okay. I get. I heard you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> for some of you feminists, you know that your person is using you for your money. Oh, okay. For your finances, for your resources. What is this? We have the Six of Wands. Beautiful energy. Victory. It says, victory. Wise choices that bring recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. Why are you worried about that? Ah. Like I said, some of you guys, you know your person is with you for your finances and your resources. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have renewal, which is the judgment energy. And it says, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness, time to head in a new direction, clarity on your life purpose, in your heart, you know what to do. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like I said... You know somebody is using you for your value. You know this. It's like a, a a revelation has been brought unto you. But I don't like this anxiety with this door to value. Are you are you are you doubting your self worth? That's what I keep getting. Are you doubting your self your self worth? Put it up in front because you've been through some shit. The six of wands is one wand up from the five of wands. Which is competition, conflict, battle. You're on the other side of that. And then here you are sitting with this anxiety and door to value. Was it worth the fight? 
now that you have now that you have won this battle, are you are you are you doubting yourself or doubting your reasons why you wasn't eat what doubting the reasons why you were even in conflict? Something of the sort. It's especially with this judgment here. Judgment is understanding. Newfound understanding with this temple path. Was that? It wasn't even worth the fight. Okay. What is the challenge, Holy Spirit? You wanted to win at all costs. And then it kind of find out it wasn't even worth the fight. Wow. Passion is a challenge. And it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This could be the one that's a challenge. That fight wasn't worth it. <laughs> you went all out. You went gangster on folks. I need to find out that that fight wasn't even worth it. That fight for that relationship, that fight for that person, that fight with that person, it wasn't even worth it. <laughs> it's like an all oh, shit. Why did I do that moment? This is what I'm feeling. Because it wasn't even worth it. And now you understand that. With this recognition and victory. Yeah, you wanted to win at all costs, I heard. It's not the five of swords energy, but with the five of wands, it's like you had to. You had to fight for this. You had to stand up for yourself. You had to do what, it, do what you needed to do in order for you to come out victorious. And then once you came out victorious, now you realize it wasn't even worth the fight. Honey boom. Let's keep going. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah. It's like when you gain understanding divine feminine, that's when you understood that all that fight and all that battling that you was doing in the connection or because of the connection, it wasn't even fucking worth it. Because you came into self, you and I heard you enlighten yourself. Okay. Yeah. You don't even feel the same way about the person anymore because passion is the challenge. You don't even feel the same way. Why? Because this could be the one is a challenge. You don't even feel the same way about the person. This is how come you know, or this is how come you feel that that fight wasn't even worth it. Let's roll. Holy Spirit. Let's see. What can you tell me? Thank you. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Damn. The Knight of Cups in reverse being your first energy. Our Divine Feminine. You bitter as shit. All love is lost. There is. You're not moving towards gooey, ooey, emotional feelings here. You took your love back. You, you turned cold. The Knight of Cups in reverse, this is a cold-ass energy. Because you realize it wasn't even worth the fight. And look at you. You're not going towards it. You shut it off. You shut that fountain love off. Because you realize it wasn't even worth the fight. Damn. Look, Hermit energy at the bottom of the deck. Virgo energy. Because it wasn't worth the... It wasn't worth the fight. Okay. Wow. Reviewing your past. Yeah, with compassion and forgiveness, it wasn't even worth the fight. You, this is divine feminine. The nine of coins in reverse. This is codependent energy here. Tempers in the reverse. Sagittarius energy. This is why that anxiety is here. Do you feel stuck? The nine of pentacles is a is a is a is a trapped energy. It's a it's a codependent energy. It's an energy of not being self-sufficient. Did you go into a depression? Divine Feminine? Because your Knight of Cups didn't come?
Is this the reason why you disconnected? Yeah, passion is a, is in, is is a challenge. Are you love? Are you love stuck? Stuck on this person, waiting, hoping they choose you. This how come this could be the one that's a challenge and an issue? Are you waiting for somebody to choose you, divine feminine? With this temperance energy in the reverse and the nine of cups, you're waiting for somebody to choose you. Ain't this about a bitch? Divine feminine, don't wait on nobody to choose you. You are not an option. You are the choice. And if you're waiting for somebody to choose you, that means that there are other choices, a.k.a. other options this person is considering. And my advice to you, I don't give advice. But on this issue right here, don't you wait on nobody to choose you. You go out there and you be the choice. You see what I'm saying? This is what I think you're feeling or understanding. Yeah, some type of information came in and start. Okay. You love struck. You love struck. And it's weighing on your the way you feel about yourself, the way you value yourself. It got a it got a it got a um a hold on that or an issue on that. What is that? Oh, what's this? Okay, you have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Cut flying out. You know, this is a wonky ass energy. Up and down, up and down, all around. Six of Coins. No, it's not. Okay, finally. <coughs> I see some stability here. Ace of Wands, I like that energy. This is, you know, the some type of truth came in or some type of truth that that you have received here. It started you to 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 go down uh, uh, to follow your passions and your dreams. Thank you. Yeah. Temple path. Yeah. You following your passions and your dreams here because now you you like it's like you're woken up. You worry that worry is here, but you woke up. To the worry, you woke up to your self-worth, you woke up to your passions, and you woke up to your purpose in life. After feeling like you was feeling worthless in life. That self-worth was an issue for you. Until you got an awakening. Hell yeah. With the judgment and the temple path, that's an awakening. It's like you got snapped out of a dream or snapped out of, a, of an illusion here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Because love didn't come with this knight of cups in the reverse. Love didn't come. And so because it didn't come, you was in this knight of pentacles energy. Feeling codependent, um, unworthy. Because it, it, it didn't happen for you. But then something changed. Something snapped you out of it. Yeah. What's this? Ace of cups in reverse and the two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is this this you had a lot of love for this person that did not come, so you took your love back. That's that self worth here. Your self your self worth was shaken, and I have to keep saying that because they keep saying that it's like you felt down, you felt low, the empress in reverse, baby. What is going on here, divine feminine? Nine of wands in reverse. Giving up hope? Huh. You know, divine feminine, for some for some of you divine feminists, this this is a this is a mental issue. This is a mental issue. With the Empress in the reverse in the reverse, Taurus and Libra, and the Nine of Wands in the reverse. This, this is a giving up. This is somebody who has lost balance within their self. That's why I keep saying your self-worth is an issue here. Some of you guys are, are not. You're in a depressed state. This is a pressing energy, this Empress in Reverse. This Empress in Reverse is an energy of somebody who can't hold it together, can't keep it together, can't do the daily basic task because they're falling apart. This is why I say this self-worth, this self, huh, 
this anxiety of self is an issue and a challenge here. And you're up and down, up and down, up and down. But with this two of wands in the reverse, you know, it's 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 a blocked off energy. It's a closed off energy. This is a hermit energy because you you you, you your, your self value have went down and plummet. I'm sorry to keep saying that, but that's the present energy that is here because of a relationship. This could be a one as a challenge in a relationship. This is how you feeling. Divine Feminine, if you really need to, get professional help. This feels like a cry for help. A soul, Your soul is crying out for help because your self-worth has been depleted because of a, of a relationship or a connection that didn't work. It didn't come. So you, you you feeling lowly now. And Divine Feminine, I pray that you get help. Because this is a pressure issue with the Empress in reverse, baby. Sitting next to the temple path. This is this is this is feeling like you're 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 stuck. Your 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 self worth is lowered within self. This is how you see yourself. This is how you feel. This is why I said in the beginning your self worth is self worth. Is an issue and a challenge here. Okay? So if you need to meditate, you I heard mentor. Some of you guys need to go to find you need to find a mentor. I couldn't even get it out. Maybe you're hesitant of that because of trust issues. But some of you guys could really use the help of a mentor, life coach, thing of things of the sort. Um, yeah. Okay, Holy Spirit, why is this Knight of Cups in reverse? Why is this Knight of Cups in reverse? Please and thank you. This energy is tight, the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Somebody could have had a... Shit. Ace of Cups. This felt like a love of a lifetime or opportunity of a lifetime that didn't come in, especially with love. Um, this ace, of, this ace of cups, and this three of cups is the four of cups. So that's rejection. You could have rejected somebody, and now you're probably kicking yourself in the butt, or this person rejected you, and you're kicking yourself in the butt. Yeah, that's that self worth energy that is suppressing. Um, this person could have been a business owner, had money, things of the sort, but that love didn't come in. Um, it's making me feel like divine feminine. For some of you guys, you rejected, rejected this person in the past, and now you want to go back to this person. That person is not available. Okay. What is this? The two of wands. Yeah. You want to see what else is out there, but you're conflicted about what it is that you want to do. The two of wands in the upright and the two of wands in the reverse, or the two of wands in the upright and the two of wands in the reverse, that's a conflicted energy. That's an up and down energy. You don't know what the fuck to do with yourself right now, Divine Feminine. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know what to do with this, this connection. You don't know what to do with yourself about this, this connection, this person, something of the sort. You're too up and down in your energies. You, it's like you don't you don't have a a plan you don't have a, a direction here it's it's like you're flapping in the wind because of some type of hurt or loss or feeling unworthy you feel unworthy divine feminine yeah your self worth is 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 an issue right now divine feminine like I said if you need professional help baby go get it because this is depressing. It's really depressing. And let me tell you something. Can nobody lower your self-worth but yourself? I don't give a fuck what they do or what they say. They cannot lower your self-worth. The only person that can lower your self-worth is you. Baby, you got to pick yourself up. You're still the empress. That crown, it, it ain't, it's not on straight. It's tilted to the side. Probably kicked it across the street because your, your, your feelings is just in a lowly state. But honey... You still worthy of that crown. 
You got to do what you have to do on the inside in order to turn this energy in upright. Because now you're stuck. The Empress in the reverse is a stuck energy. Because you're still an Empress, but it's things that's happening in your life, simple path, that is keep that is reversing your energies, reversing it back into this lowly state that you either came from, because the Empress been through shit. Okay? So it's like you're reverting back to that energy that you came from because of what somebody has done or didn't do. They didn't value you the way that you that you Require and desire, and it, and it, and you, it, it, your self worth took a hit. It's not going to stay there because you're still the empress, but you got to work yourself out of these energies, okay? All right, what is the nine of coins in reverse? I'm only going to clarify the reverse. Why is the nine of coins in reverse, Holy Spirit? Thank you. It's an eight of swords. See what I mean? It's stuck energy. Stuck in thought. Let me tell you. It's like... it's like <clears throat> I don't know if it was words that were said or actions that were taken. But you feel stuck. With the nine of coins in the reverse and the eight of swords, this is a stuck energy. Codependent energy. You can't see yourself forward because you're stuck in this lullaby. You're stuck in the lullaby. And the longer you stay stuck in this lullaby, the longer your self, the lower your self-worth drops. And then they and they keep screaming it. Because you are worthy. But it's your attitude and your mindset of how you think about yourself that is a problem. And it is because some type of passionate love situation. This person was not the one. And they weren't. And it threw you into a self-worth issue, or threw you into having a self-worth worth issue. Because this person wasn't the one. There's no passion. Look, you have the Ace of Wands out here, so passion will come back, okay? But it ain't with this one. You got to pick yourself up, and it's making me feel like you are, okay? With this Ace of Cups in reverse, so let's, let's, let's clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse. I heard all love lost. You took your 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 energy back. Look at this. <laughs> We're gonna take the one in the middle because this is a chunk. Woo, the tower. And let's take this one. The Ten of Wands, honey bone. Look at the Ace of Wands. Come up in reverse and shit. Oh, this is a lot of energy, divine feminine. You, you're going through it. You're going through it. But I will tell you this. This had to happen. When the tower comes out, <clears throat> that's the hand of God. Clearing people, places, and things out of your life in order to give you a new foundation, a new clean slate. Okay, the tower energy is God doing for you what you couldn't do for yourself. Because things were too hard. You were carrying around burdens that you didn't need to. It was time to put them burdens down. And here come God, clearing out the way. For you to put these burdens down and have this brand new beginning with this ace of cups being in the reverse this is self-love that's in the reverse i don't get no energies of nobody else but you that's why they said self-worth yo yo it's like your your self-care your self-love is not there some of you divine feminists i'm not gonna lie some of you divine feminists are not taking care of the household not taking care of yourself not taking care of your children because of this tower moment that's why I say your self-worth is lowered because of a, a something that was hard, something that was a burden, someone. Okay, with this passion being a challenge and an issue right here, it was someone. This is depression here. This is depression here, baby. But let me tell you, this tower is your saving grace. Okay, this tower is the most high God saying, shit, not my child. Let's go ahead and kick all of this shit out of her way or his way, depending on what energies you was... I don't even want to explain that one. But, um, yeah. If I say her, him, hey, put the pieces where they may, please. But, yeah, this is this is the most, this is the love of God right here, this tower. This is the love of God. Because this is the love of God doing for you what you couldn't do for yourself. And that's the clear way all this energy. People, places, and things that is lowering your self-worth. That is lowering your self-value to yourself. Okay? 
this is how you feel about yourself. And they keep saying self-work, self-work, self-work. Honey boom. So divine feminine, I, I, I urge you, I urge you to do self-care. Do the things that make you happy. If you got to go and take a walk in the park or a walk on the beach or somewhere where you can have some zen. So where you could just block out what it is that you're going through, what it is that you've been through. And it's just you and yourself. Because that's where God's at. Because the God that you serve and that you love is within you. If you don't believe in God, I don't know why the fuck you on this channel. <laughs> I'm just saying. But you need time for yourself. This is a, this is a divine feminine that is in dire need of self-care. Yeah. Why is the two of ones in reverse? Yeah. I don't know if you need to take a vacation or a vacation. But invest in yourself. Because with this empress in reverse, let me tell you, this is somebody that's not taking care of house and home. Okay, showing sure up to work at late. Showing sure up to work late, not taking care of the responsibilities of what their family have, or the responsibilities of their family, or the responsibilities of their self. Okay, um, this is a difficult energy for me to channel. So if I'm fumbling too much, or I'm just saying a lot of ums, and I can't get this, the messages out right, it's difficult, it's heavy, it's mucky, it's low. I don't operate in the low vibe. So me trying to channel a low vibe energy is hard, especially because it's divine feminine that's in this state. So I understand that it's hard for you to come up out of this state, but baby, you got to put in the work. You got to put in the effort tempo path. Okay, you got to wake up to realization and understanding. This is a resurgence here. You got to research. There you go, Holy Spirit. Thank you. You have to research. Holy Spirit, why is the two of wands in reverse? You have to research, babe. Yeah. And how you do that, it depends on you. It depends on, look at the nine of wands and the strength energy. Yeah, you've been through a lot. You're not going to give up. You have the strength energy here, Leo energy. I like that. You're not going to give up. You're a warrior. You're a fighter. But baby, it's... it's you feel like you're being defeated, but no, you're not. Because you have the strength here, baby. This is courage and victory to move on and to keep moving forward, wounded warrior. You have this. But you feel this stuck. Oh, shit. You made a choice. For some of you guys, you made a choice. For others, you feel stuck. But there's two of wands in reverse. This tower was a blessing. This tower on your timeline, it's a blessing. Because that's just going to blow away the shit that is just stopping you. That is hindering you. Okay? All right. Um, Eight of Cups. Walking away emotionally from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And here go that independent energy. The Nine of Coins and the Upright. You damn right. But you in a dog fight with self. Divine Feminine. You are in a dog fight with self, baby. And you got to come up out of it. And you will come up out of it. Once you get out of your emotions and free your mind and free yourself from your worries and your cares that is keeping you in this lowly state, baby, this is that strength energy that is being handed to you because you've been through so much wounded warrior. So you got to keep fighting, keep climbing up out of this depression, up out of this state of unworthiness. And you got to put yourself back in the upright by self-care. The empress care for self first. The empress, and I'm going to tell you, the empress is going to care for self because they got to care for self in order to care for others. The empress been through it. The empress been through all the energies all, of all the four queens. So this empress is very wise and smart. But being in the reverse, baby, it's because it's self-worth here. Maybe you have to relearn the lesson. I'm just saying. Okay. This is what I have for you, Divine Feminine. Um, this is very... Uh, this is uh, this this energy was very difficult because of the, 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 the lonely energy that you're in. But I hope that I brought out the messages that I help you along your journey and along your path in order for you to be put back into the upright. Put your crown 
back on straight and then continue forward okay so this is what i have for you i will see you in the next video till then take care bye